wing here, what we're going to be using is squirrel. Or if you're going to be tying them fairly large, you can use rabbit or muskrat or fox or whatever you want. And then the body is going to be out of epoxy. And then you have these pearl stick-on eyes. And the hook is a 93.95. So just like before, I'm going to stick the hook in the vise. We're going to attach our thread. And then we're going to get our thread on there. And then we're going to come up and get our monofilament. And we'll cut a hunk of that off. And we're going to tie that down. And that, that, maybe just a little further. There we go. And we're going to come back. Just following me. Just about there. And that ought to work. And then we're going to take the hook out of the vise. And I like to stick it in like this for right now. Now we're going to grab our squirrel hair. The reason I like to use squirrel hair, let me pull some of this out of the bag. I mean, as you look at that stuff, just look at all the different colorations in there. You have white, you have dark gray, you have tan, and at the very tip you have all that modeling. And the hair itself is so dense. Plus, the most important thing is it's fairly short. Unlike rabbit, it has a lot longer hair. For these little bit smaller streamers, squirrel works a lot better. Now to get this on here, what I'll do is I'll measure the length of the hook shank, mark it with my finger, and then what I'll do is I'll just come stick the tip of the hook right in the middle of the hide, and then we'll just pull it right up on there, just like so. That way we're going to have a fly that rides upside down or the hook up, making it virtually weedless. Now what I'm going to do, if you're going to be tying several of these, it's good to have some water in a little bowl or something right by you. But spit's always good for, to do it too. Get a little slive on there and stroke that so you have just the bare opening there. Slide it back down on the hook. And we get that little little bit wetter. Just like so. Then we'll take and tie down the hide. And then we're going to form our loop, just like before. Make it as big as you want to. And we'll tie that down. Or we get too many wraps in there, we want to make sure that's just right on the underside there. At both ends. So it's not all cockeyed. There we go. And then we'll whip finish it off right there. Take a few more. That ought to be good. Cinch that up. Now that part is basically done. Now we'll kind of fold the hair out of the way and we're going to reattach our thread right up by the eye. And we'll just pull that squirrel hair forward. I like a little bit to stick out over the eye. I'll pull it as tight as I can, hold it, and I tie it down right behind the eye. Then I'll come in and just trim all this excess off, like so, and finish off the head. And 
making sure it's tied down nice and good. And then we'll just take our thread off and whip finish it. And now that all the tying procedures are done. One thing left to do here is, yeah, that loop might be just a little big, so we'll pull it up. There we go. Just pull on it till we get the shape that we want. Trim off the excess. And then we're going to trim this tail. Now we have basically what we want. I like to stroke the hair straight up away from the hook shank. Eventually we're going to come in here and put some epoxy. But before we do that, we're going to have to attach some eyes. And to do that, we're going to use some of those self-adhesive eyes. And these are the pearl color. I mean, these eyes come in all different kinds of sizes, so you can make them your, your hair fry just as big as you want to. Just stick it on there. Let me get it back a little bit. Yeah, that's about where we want it. Get another one of these off. Stick it on the side away from us. Yeah, that ought to work about right there. Mm, must have had a bad eye. Get another eye out here. We can't get one peeled off. Nope. There we go, there's one. Just stick it on the side. Just need it to hold on there until we can epoxy it. Now we're ready to mix up some epoxy just like we did on the last fly. And get our little stick of note. And we'll get our epoxy flowing here. And we just gotta wait a minute. And there it comes. Get a little bit of this out. And a little bit of this other side of it. Now we can add, make this any color we want it. This one will put a little bit of a gold flake to it. And then we'll add some black flakes to it. Just like putting some pepper in there. Don't need a whole lot. That's good. That ought to be enough for this fly. And make sure it's mixed up real good. Yeah, it's good and mixed up. Now let's start getting it into our body here. Again, just get it up right along the hook shank and on your hide. Just like so. And do the same thing over here. Got a hair. And just put some on there. In between the eyes. Get some around the eyes there. I like to fold the hair back a little bit. Get some in between there. Now we can just start filling up that little loop. Just like so. I'm 
let it drip down instead of up this time. And just keep it rotating so it doesn't sag into the wrong area. And I think we're just about there. Let me loosen up the vise a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting it. And you can make this any, about any shape you want to with that epoxy. This one looks like a little pregnant guppy, but I'm sure it's going to catch some fish. And then once you have your epoxy in there, you just have to rotate it. Then once you're all done, you want to stroke through the hair here, get some of your saliva out of it, if that's what you're using. And you can see how that hook point just kind of disappears right into that fur. And if you want, you can just take a magic marker and color right down the side of the hide here. And make a red streak right down here, or black, or orange, or whatever you want. And you can also color the underside as well as you can also color up the epoxy. And with this little scoop down here of the epoxy for your body and those stick-on eyes, kind of fatter up in the head area, it has that kind of tendency to kind of dip. Just has a whole lot of movement, especially when that tail's wet. Ooh, killer little pattern. <laughs>